All right, my friends, good morning. This is Thursday, May 5th. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are on your plan, your goals. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the comments. Uh, Jimbo made a nice comment yesterday on um, uh, our uh, video talking about keeping your cool under in this journey and being able to uh, focus on the things you need to focus on and not let kind of get distracted by emotional type of drains as well as physical. And I think he made a good point talking about a, a, a co-worker, someone who he works with who got him upset. He didn't react the same way. And I think that's very, very true when it comes to our retention. Our journey that we're on makes us, one of the benefits is that we don't jump to anger. I used to be, uh, because of, I played football and a lot of uh, violent type of activities, playing sports, um, I have to get angry, right? So I had a lot of that when I was younger, and it's hard as you go through life. I feel for those people who are in the services, who fight in wars, who who play a lot of contact sports, and get you know have a certain level of anger, or hostility that has to build up for you to play play well, and uh, that sometimes can carry on in the life after you get done playing. And those are the types of things you have to be careful of. So a lot of people. Who are who played sports? Who you know whether they boxed or they played football or they played a kind of violent sport like rugby or something like that, or they have served and been in a war. They have a lot of anger anger uh, management issues, and I think so. As Chimbu has said, I think that it takes a lot of energy to uh, fight those type of things and to not get uh, too upset with that. So I think that to his credit, he's able to kind of use his retention to be able to kind of hold that off. So thank you, Shimbu, for that comment. And Ashara, I think, also made a great comment that we'll have to kind of dwell, del delve into a little bit more, too. He was focusing on the video two days earlier that we're talking about uh, the uh, dreams at night. And that's, you know, the Bible talks about the same thing, is that you know, nocturnal admissions, things like that, are things that the Bible, uh, you know, frowns upon and things that we should not have a lot of. And once again, it goes back to the fighting the temptation, the daily type of temptation that you get into when it comes to, uh, you know, staying on your journey and your thoughts. It really goes back to your thinking and your thoughts. And this is why, in one sense, like uh, Chimbu was saying, you can calm down and relax because you're changing your focus. And as Ishara also makes the comment, and you can also do this, you know, not to have a lot of emissions at night. And it, it, it takes time, you know, you have to kind of refocus your brain. You have to kind of, kind of refocus your thoughts and ideas. But little by little with praying, meditation, those things can, can work. And all of a sudden, now you're not thinking about these things. And once again, it's the thought that starts the process. The idea that starts the process. Then you start thinking about, you know, manifestations of the idea. And here comes the pictures. Here comes everything else. And then obviously, the live people, the person. And all of a sudden, now yourself, you're losing energy left and right. So this is where the thoughts, I think, start the whole process, then you have to control those as best you can. Now, there's nothing you can do about thoughts coming into you, and I believe that's the evil one who's pushing thoughts into you, but you can try to refocus those, and there's been times even when I'm dreaming that I try to refocus because I've done it so many times by habit that, um, you know, within my subconscious mind, I'm starting to kind of repeat myself to the point where the only things I really want to dream about are basically the three things of my goals. And so every time something happens, I refocus it differently. But you are a strong person, and that's kind of what I want to talk about with this one. Your strength gets stronger by the day, and that takes a lot of different forms. Obviously, the strength you have, you know, at night to be able to kind of refocus yourself, that becomes stronger the more you're with it. I'm at 699 days, so tomorrow I think I'll do a 700-day 
uh, update and just kind of reflections on 700 days. I'm about 225 when it comes to 24 when it comes to monk mode. And again, that's not very easy because once again, you get thoughts and ideas and you have to try to transfer those, you know, transmute those or something else, do something else with those type of ideas and thoughts. So you need to continue to realize that you're getting stronger every day and you're becoming stronger every day because you're focusing really on looking at controlling yourself not letting things bother you, focusing on those goals, staying with those goals, and really kind of looking at uh, the important things that are matter to you. These types of ideas and thoughts, these are very self-destructive in the long run. They may, they may sound good, feel good, look good for a short term, but in the long run, they kind of destroy you. And I saw that for many, many years and I think the thing you have to kind of realize is that, you know, you're selling your soul out every time you do this. And it could be any kind of addiction you're talking about. I mean, we were just talking about the, you know, porn and all the other kind of stuff that we're talking about. But there's also the same thing happens when it comes to drugs. The same thing can happen when it comes to overeating. All these type of things. And you have to kind of test yourself as well. And... The more you're on this journey, the stronger you're able to test yourself. So, for instance, there's times where I will fast. And like, you know, fasting until noon, 8 o'clock at night to noon. Intermittent fasting so that I'm able to uh, control this urge again. This is my eating is, is, is the thing I'm trying to control right now. That's my biggest vice right now because I ate a lot. I was playing ball back years ago, excuse me, and I continue to, um, you know, have the same type of eating, though I'm almost 61 years old, I'm at the point where I'm not really focusing on the exercising as much as I used to, of course, that's 40 years ago, and, um, but the eating has to be, I have to decrease the eating at the same time. And I don't always do that. So sometimes I get, you know, full and things like that. And, you know, I don't feel right with this. And this is why I'm, I'm not moving towards the goal. I'm trying to achieve my six packs even after, um, you know, even after this point in time. So when we look at this, the whole idea is to be able to kind of say your strength is coming from the fact that you're able to control yourself. And that becomes an internal strength that just becomes stronger by the day. And so you're able then to say, you know, I'm going to continue focusing. I'm going to continue focusing on the things that I want to focus on. And I'm going to focus on these three goals before I go to bed. And then I'm going to focus on not getting this upset when somebody gives me news I don't like. I'm not going to get all that upset about it. And I'm going to control it better. So as Jimbu said, you know, you're able to control that better because you're stronger from within. And this is the whole thing that's really the key is you're getting the strength from within. And I think that um, you realize you have a lot more energy. Uh, I, I stay up late and get up early. Uh, you have lots more energy, especially as you stay, in my case, stay away from the carbs and the sugar you end up having a lot more energy because of all the nutrients you're keeping within your body. I think you're also kind of because you have all those nutrients and energy, especially a lot of you younger guys, you're you're basically going to have abundance of energy. Now, what you do with that energy is important. If you sit and decide to sit and just play video games or sit on the couch and do nothing, then you're not going to use that energy for the best purposes. And I think God has given us energy for us to do things. Now, I think it's interesting because I've always admired the farmer, the person who goes, and I spent a little time on a farm years ago, and uh, it is very hard work, but you're right on the soil. And, you know, like this weekend for Mother's Day, I'm going to uh, make sure that I clean the yard up, put up all the kind of stuff and dig and all kinds of stuff to help my wife out. And basically, that's going to be very good for me because, as well as obviously for the yard and my wife, 
But the thing is, it's going to be good for me because I do think as you get closer to the ground that God has created, you become stronger. Uh, and this is just a, I have no research to back this up, but I just have that feeling I've had for years that when you're doing yard work, you're doing farm work, you're actually doing stuff. That's one of the most tiring things you can do, but it also makes you feel good. At least it makes me feel good. And so once again, the strength is coming from, you know, all these things within. Uh, the other thing that um, I've also doing, and I'm going to do, I think, a separate one on this one as well, but um, uh, going through uh, Qi, I'm going to actually go ahead and talk about more of a holistic type approach. I do not take any sort of medicine. Uh, even when I get a headache, I, I usually kind of try to go through it. Now, I have learned over the years to kind of use different methods, uh, some Chinese type methods to use um, pressure points, things like that, to make me actually feel better. But I believe, and this is where, once again, people will think you're kind of crazy, because most people, when they get sick, they go to a doctor or they get pills. They get medicine of some sort. Well, the doctor writes out a prescription for you. Well, you are too strong for that, in my opinion. Um, I have not been sick in now it's many years. You know, and obviously I haven't been, I haven't had, been sick in this whole uh, pandemic thing we've been in either. So it's interesting to me that I have gotten to the point where because I, you know, I have a strong, you know, belief in brahmacharya and a lot of the techniques, the strategies and the philosophy of chi and a lot of things that that I like to focus on and I kind of have a mixed match. I mean, obviously I have a strong relationship with my Lord Jesus Christ. But I also kind of mix and match because to me, a lot of the ideas are similar. Uh, and obviously when it comes to the body, I think that there's been a lot of um, very wise people who've been kind of looking at this and, you know, kind of working with this for years. And one of these is the pressure points that I think you can do to kind of heal yourself in a lot of cases. Now, when I say that, you know, people think, and you know, once again, I'm crazy. But the idea that your body is a very strong source. And, uh, you know, when you look at this, you kind of think to yourself, okay, you know, what did we do before medicine? Well, people, you know, obviously had to kind of heal themselves in a lot of ways. And I always go back to this thing about broken bones. And you'd always think broken bones, well, you know, they're not going to heal and they won't be as strong as they were before. Well, the broken bone actually heals it and it basically is stronger than it was before, which is a very unique type of result. And when you think about that, you realize the body has a lot more weapons to it to fight all these type of diseases. And I'll give another example of things I experience. Once again, I don't have a lot of research on this, but when I, when I do get some kind of like sniffles or cold or something like that, or I think something's coming on, maybe a sore throat, I immediately start fasting. Now, why do I do that? Well, my experience is, at least for me, is that when I tend to fast, um, I don't have food in my system. And they always used to say that if you get sick, you drink liquids. Well, one of the reasons why you don't eat is because you don't want the body focusing on digestion at the same time they're trying to battle this disease or whatever that disease might be. And this is why I think it's really important to fast, among other reasons, digestive reasons as well. But you want to go ahead and really kind of um, focus on that whole idea of looking at getting that out of your system, making yourself the healthiest person you can. And a lot of times you do that by the by letting your body work and solving the problem. A lot of times we don't do that. We depend on outside types of things. And this is why I think that as a society we run ourselves into trouble. Now, of course, once again, when you look at the overall picture, if I would say to you that we don't need 99% of the medicines 
and doctors and hospitals, you would think, well, you know, Vigor, Vigor Warrior is losing it. It's over, Vigor Warrior. Well, I would, I would encourage you guys, you guys are in the 1% club, I would encourage you, my 1%ers, to give some thought to this. Now, maybe, you know, I mean, Christian science was a, a very strong thing when uh, Mayor uh, Mary Baker Eddy, and she combined faith with science. And I was, you know, doing science for many, many years, and so I understand the positive and negative sides of that as well. But I would just encourage you, we have such a dependency on drugs and medicine, and I don't do any of that stuff. And I won't take anything to harm my body. If I think it's something that can harm my body, I'm not going to take it. So I just think it's very fascinating that, once again, this matrix we've been living in, to every time you get sick, take a pill, take a medicine, I think is, um, I'd say it, I think it's wrong. I think most things you don't need pills or medicine for. And I think that um, your strength from within is all you really need. And you can overcome a lot of things. Now, if you break your bones, you know, obviously you're going to need to get some help. I'm not saying that the health industry we should eliminate at all. But I think there is so much money being spent on things that you don't need. I don't feel we need as, as people. And I just think that that's something that is one of those matrix things that we believe in, just like the retention thing, that is not true for most people. And it's not true for me, that's for sure. Because I've experienced now this for several, many, many years now. And I don't remember the last time I was actually even sick. You know, to, this, to the point where I could not stand in bed. I'm not, you know, uh, and maybe I keep thinking about that crazy Willy Wonka thing again. Uh, with parents being in bed and never get out, all right? Because of atrophy. But you have to continue to achieve your goals, move ahead, and become stronger every day. And you do that by the journey you're taking and also realizing there's things that you don't need to put in your body to stay strong. You know, obviously, you want to stay away from the bad things like alcohol and drugs and things like that and overeating and things like this. Once again, that's my biggest issue. Trying to, I, I'm, I'm still battling that one as we go along day by day. But the thing is, is that um, you also want to stay away from medicines and things that you need, that you don't need. I think the holistic approach to using the stuff within your body to make, to heal you is really underrated. I think there's a lot of things that you can do. Now, I'm going to do a separate one on this. I, I also promised that I would do one with uh, Fountain of Youth. And I'll, I may combine these together, one this weekend. I will get to it. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the semesters and the places I'm at and some of the consulting work I'm doing. So I should have a little more time to do one. And this summer, I'll focus more on this. But I have two of them that I really want to kind of focus on, and that that's the uh, chi and also the um, the fountain of youth stuff from uh, uh, Kendler and I will go ahead and uh, kind of do separate ones on those but once again the strength you have is abundant and you want to make sure that you don't necessarily need all these outside things to stay strong all you need is the strength from within to be able to be strong all right my friends enough for today this is May 5th 2022. You guys have a great day and I will talk with you soon. God bless you. Battle on, my friends. Battle on.